All right, family, we're here at the exhibition on the slave trade, and we're still in Abreda and Jufri. It's two neighboring villages, so what we do is just uh, usually say Abreda and Jufri, because that's the historical connection. Okay, you come closer a little bit. Please come closer under the set, please. A little bit of... Okay, here is called uh, the National Museum. Uh, this building before was called like a British warehouse before. <laughs> then after a British warehouse... Hey, hey, I'll insert the one. I'll insert the one now. This house before was called a British warehouse. Then later it was used by the two Lebanese, they called like Model Fresh. Then in 1996, the government of the Gambia used like a museum. That's why they call it a museum. So this statue outside here, like a family. This one, like a father, mother, and a baby at the back. So when they collect the whole family like this, they kill them. They, in America, they separate them. They take father to Brazil, a mother to Jamaica, a child to Haiti. This is how they make separation. So the other family, they are like a father, mother, and a boy. So they collect the whole family from Africa in America, they separate them. So they will not see each other. In America, they make separation in America. They take father to Brazil, mother to Jamaica, a child to Haiti. So this is how they separate them. Okay? So from <coughs> now, we go inside the museum and have a look there, inside. Okay? okay? It's a sad and sick family. Yes, Africa for the Africans is back family in the Breda Slave Exhibition Museum in Jufri. In Jufri. So, very like I mentioned, this. If you want to take pictures inside, it's only from the Palace. A hundred. I got to pay how much? Tour. Our goal is always to go to all of the museums and the historical places that connect us to our roots. Tell us about our historical story as far as the, the transatlantic European slave trade. So these are the, the presentation in the Slave Exhibition Museum in Abreda slash Jufri. And they're both neighboring villages, so we just highlight both of them.
family, it's only so much we can show you in this museum. The ideal thing is join us on the journey or make your way and experience these things directly for yourself. But for now, our goal is to show highlights and share and encourage and empower you to reconnect to our struggle, reconnect to our roots, and use it as a tool of empowerment, a tool of focus, and a tool of pan-Africanism. So that's why we talk about pan-Africanism towards nationhood. When we're building this global black business alliance. Oh, wow. What you're saying, um, Teresa? And Charles the no, she was saying oh, wow. she Charles was telling them how that was the biggest slave port and that was one of their currencies. So I wanted to show her. Oh wow. <laughs> You know, for some reason I thought all the money in America has always been uh, United States. No! Wow, not... Uh, <laughs> See, like I said, we learn every day. Yeah, I literally have never seen that. They're like dead serious, and I've been you know, one of the people who's studying the, the roots. Mm -hmm. So family, you know? You know, it, you know, it's one of those things where it's, uh, you know, history goes on so deep where there's a lot of things that, you know, most of us still don't know. So we always encourage ourselves to just do continuous learning and just continuous uh, sure enough education and information. Mr. Alex Ailey. Alex. Alex. So, so when I see this, it, it makes me feel, it makes me really feel good that our people are proud of our people and, and what we have been able to achieve in America and achieving that America is in the African dance world. This one, when Alex came to find out for his roots, uh, this was the lady he met in the village here. And this was the person that guided his history to Alex. And that's how Alex knew that uh, the family he had been looking for, here is the family. So when he came back, that's the time he came with the Alto, the movie Alto, then the Alto movie. 75% of it in the village here, and 25 in America to make it more interesting in the time of the roots. Alex Haley. This is with the kingdom, the seven generations of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. There is George Haley. Oh, and he was my neighbor, Samani. Mm -hmm. Oh, you told George Haley. Yeah. Where's George? So which one? Which one is older? Is George younger? I think George is younger. Mm -hmm. George is younger. Yeah, Alex is the elder. The woman glasses? Yeah. No, Alex. That's Alex. Alex. Yeah, Alex. This is that his circle book that encouraged a lot of us to come and find our roots in Africa. Regardless of whatever we feel about Alex Hilly, it was, it, it was an encouragement to connect us to our roots. All right. Okay. Let me take your picture. Yes, ma'am. Is the sun? Fuck. I'm yeah, this is this a strong family. So why? Yeah, a strong black man. So family, let's pull our energy together and strengthen our nation for the future. And let's connect and support our brothers and sisters. In Africa and the Jasper, this is the, the legend himself, Dr. King. Another person where, you know, regardless of how you feel or see about his work, you know, the strategy of nonviolence is, you know, is a brave move, and, you know, many of us uh, not be able to, like, carry these moves on. So it's like, I'm always telling people, just, just honor our ancestors uh, and their contributions to civilization and let's uh, take it to the level of black empowerment to the highest. A 
Das ist eine Replika von Kunta Kente Erle. And in this museum, it has not been changed to Kunta Kente Ali as of yet, but that is the official name given by the former president of the, the Gambia. Are you still here? Yeah, it's a little out Yeah, here. I want to see if there's a few of you. I'll try to figure it out. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 